And what's up guys, Shadow Dragonic here, bringing you yet another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls. So, I managed to get back to where I was, which was, you know, where I died to that stupid barrel. And uh, this is another area with, with which you can use the master key, is on this door here. Now, we could traverse the tower downwards. However, down here, I believe this is where Havel is, or Havel, or... Uh, Whatever his name is. Not on this floor. I believe he's all the way down at the bottom. I don't really want to set him off. How many floors down is he? This will take you into the... I really don't want to set him off. But yeah, he, he's down at the bottom. He's wearing some heavy-duty armor and wielding a giant, like, dragon tooth hammer thing. Or dragon tooth club. And you can kill him, and when you do, you get all of his stuff, including Havel's ring, which uh, increases your equipment loadout weight limit. <clears throat> which is a, it's a really good ring to have, honestly. Uh, you can wear heavier armor and not really be weighed down by it. However, what we're going to do is what we came here to do, which is uh, to take on the freaking... Oh, God. Take on the boss of this area, the Minotaur Demon. However, I'm going to take these guys out first, because, um, this guy can be a bit of a pain in the ass. However, you can, you can kind of cheese this guy. I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going to try as, as much as possible to cheese this guy. There he is. Climb, climb, climb. Okay, there's one cheese. Run. Okay, run. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think he's gonna hit me. Okay, missed. Okay, there's cheese number two. This is essentially the, the way to... Uh, he hit me with that one. This is how you can cheese this boss, I guess. Just doing constant plunging attacks. I'm gonna heal up here just in case. Ouch, he did manage to get me with that one. Oh no. Oh shit. I was so close too. So freaking close. Alright, well. And we're back here. So I will see you guys in a moment. Alright guys, and here we go. We're gonna go for attempt number two now.
I really should I should have had him on attempt number one, but you know, it happens. does that jumping attack. I can avoid that. But when he does the freaking sweep, uh-uh. Ooh, that was close. He almost got me with that one. I'm not really sure if that's the proper way to dispose of this guy or not, but it is certainly the easiest. Oh nice, he did another jump. That's good, this should be the end of him. And that's it. Woo, we actually managed to do that one without getting hit. Surprising, even for me. Homer Bone, Humanity. Whew, all right. Well, now that that's taken care of. And that's not even the worst fight. I mean, that one that one's simple once you get the, the hang of, you know, doing it. Or cheesing it. However, I think the worst fight that I came across in this game was probably uh, Capra Demon. And the only reason that is is because you're in such a tight freaking corridor with it. You gotta deal with it and two dogs as well. You'll get to see that fail later. Ooh, large soul of the lost undead. Alright, so we're at the dragon bit. I have, how many arrows do I have left? I really hope I don't have to go get more. Although saying that, forget it. I uh, If I do need to go get more, I'm not that far from where I need to go. So we're going to talk to this guy. This is Solaire. Uh, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Right, in the white sign soapstone, what that does is you can put down a summon sign. Um, and when somebody else needs help, they can summon you. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits 
cross the gaps between the worlds and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> jolly cooperation. Right, can't open that door yet. This is where we came from. Yeah, that's where we came from. Duh. Just be weary here because uh, this is where the dragon flies by and... There it goes. Wow, it hit me all the way in there. Very, very nasty is that dragon. However, if we're quick, we can get up here before it decides to breathe fire again. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to miss this. This is a shortcut, which will take you, if you don't know where we are yet, I've only been here how many times because of dying. But it'll bring you back here. Quite a shortcut indeed it is. And I'm gonna level up. Uh, I got one. And hopefully that's enough. I think it is. Uh, vitality, endurance, dex, resistance. I'm almost positive that it's 18 strength. I, like I said, I could be wrong, but... Um, right, I wanted to see how many... 53. Will that be enough? Will that be enough, or should I go buy some more just to be safe? I think I'll buy more just to be on the safe side. sure how that person managed to get up there, but okay. Pull one of these at a time. Headshot. guys are so slow. There you are. Still keeping your marbles all together? Then go ahead, don't be a nitwit. Never hurts to splurge when your days are numbered. <laughs> now you can kill this guy if you really want to. And he has a... A katana, I believe. Uh, the Uchi katana? I'm almost positive that's what he has.
Eh, we'll go with 65. Oh, thank you. Since you can hold, like, unlimited number of... Well, not unlimited. You can hold 999 arrows if you really wanted to. But I got a couple shards of uh, Titanite on my attempt going back to um, the Taurus Demon from the Skeleton Warriors or the, the Hollow Warriors with the metal shields and stuff. I think I got two Titanite shards, which isn't bad. I can upgrade, uh, you know, my scimitar if I wanted to. All right. There it is. So we need to shoot the tail. Great, that guy saw me. Adios. All right, let's see if I can pull this off. Okay, invisible wall. Gotta love those invisible walls. Right, pretty much just about, well, not every time, but when you hit its tail, it doesn't like it very much. trying to do is cut off its tail. Like I said, it can take a while sometimes. There we go. We got the Drake Sword. Which is a very good weapon to have at this point in the game. Drake Sword, 200 attack.
weight of six. Um, oh, it only needs 16. Oh, good. Well, that's even better. So yes, we now have the Drake Sword. And it does have a special attack uh, when you, when you uh, two-hand it. However, it eats up the freaking durability on it, like really, really quick. So yes, now that we've angered the already angry dragon. Ouch. Most things around here will probably only take one swat. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Like I said, I really don't care if it <laughs> irritates people that I'm using the Drake Sword. I absolutely suck at this game, so I'm going to take any easy, easy path I can possibly take. Right, welcome to the Undead Parish. Now, if you're feeling up to it, there is a Black Knight on top of this tower. Um, like I said, if you're feeling up to it, you can lure him down, I guess, and fight him. I have to try and remember uh, what to do exactly with that freaking boar. Come on, buddy. And you're done. Come on, don't be a freaking cheese. I'm pretty sure you just lure that guy into the fire. Oh, nice. Hollers, hollow soldier shield. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. that too. Now he's one of those enemies that won't respawn, so you don't have to worry about him again. But I'm pretty sure there's another way to, uh, to easily cheese that too, is to lure him into that fire and he'll like burn to death. skulls, what they do is they will lure an enemy towards you. Nice, I got a light crossbow. But yeah, this Drake sword will get you through so much crap in the early game. Now to be honest, I think what they're trying what 
they were trying to do uh, was to get you to come up here and get those alluring skulls and then throw an alluring skull into the fire to obviously lure him into the fire. Ouch, didn't mean to fall. I'm trying to remember, is there any real reason to come down here yet? for one. I think there's just, yeah, there's items here. Mystery key. Okay. Ah, I remember what the mystery key is for. I'm almost positive I remember what it's for. Yep. And that sucked. Large soul of lost undead. And I think that's all that's up here. All right, now I gotta go back up top. Wait, do we? Or am I being stupid? I forget where it is that I need to go. I keep forgetting there's a freaking bonfire in there, too. And I believe that's open by luring that freaking knight down. This guy is going to be a pain in the arse.
Oh shit. Oh, this is gonna end badly. What I'll do is uh, off screen, I'll try and fight that guy and unlock the uh, the bonfire there. But I think I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode or previous episodes, please give it a like. If you guys enjoy my Let's Plays, please don't hesitate to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Dark Souls. Or Let's Fail Dark Souls. But until then, guys, later.